deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, is a molecule made up of two long strands. The strands wrap around each other, forming a double helix. The DNA double helix resembles a twisted ladder. The sides of the ladder are formed by alternating phosphate and sugar groups. The sugar and phosphate groups form the backbone of a strand of DNA. The sugar in the DNA backbone is called deoxyribose. The two backbones in a DNA molecule face in opposite directions. Pairs of bases form the rungs of the DNA ladder. Hydrogen bonds hold the base pairs together. There are four different bases in DNA. Thymine, adenine, cytosine, and guanine. The names of the bases are often abbreviated. T stands for thymine, A for adenine, C for cytosine, and G for guanine. T always pairs with A. C always pairs with G. A TA pair and a CG pair are called complementary base pairs. Each group of phosphate, sugar, and base is called a nucleotide. DNA makes copies of itself through a process called replication. At the beginning of replication, the double helix unwinds. Enzymes break the hydrogen bonds, holding the base pairs together, and the strands separate. Each strand of DNA is copied by an enzyme called DNA polymerase. Each old strand of DNA serves as a template for a new complementary strand. The new strands are assembled using free-floating nucleotides. Complementary base pairs are matched. A always pairs with T, and G always pairs with C. As each new nucleotide is added to the chain, covalent bonds form between the sugars and phosphates along the new backbone. One new DNA strand is continually assembled base after base from end to end. The other strand is built in the opposite direction in short fragments. One strand is made in fragments because DNA polymerase can work only in one direction. Because the two backbones in a DNA molecule face in opposite directions, the enzyme must work backwards to assemble one strand. After fragments have been built, a covalent bond is formed between them. The process of replication continues. A's are paired up with T's, and C's with G's, until two identical helices have been formed.